Hello again YouTube. Today in RJ's workshop we're going to fix a jack. This was not my plan for the next uh, installment of RJ's workshop but uh, sometimes your tools decide what your next project is going to be. Uh, the other day I brought the uh, car in to do a oil change on it, put this under the front cross bumper, started jacking on it and it got exactly to this height when this snapped off and this flipped the uh, mechanism here flipped straight up which was quite interesting so what happened is is there's a this is just a piece of steel tubing and then there is a machined part that gets welded into the end of it and I'll bring it up closer to the camera in a minute this has a roll pin in it and that's what engages there's a a step down section so this bolt that's what keeps the handle from coming out and then there's a roll pin that goes through here and so when you twist your handle back and forth to release it that's what actually activates the valve down inside here so this is a kind of a thin wall in this area so it actually snapped off there uh, the exciting part was is this was buried underneath the car so the bumper of the car was out here this was pointing straight up now so I couldn't get in there with a screwdriver to release it or anything so I ended up having to get out a uh, scissor jack and jack the car up the rest of the way so I could get it off of this jack. I could get it on wheel stands and blah, blah, blah. It just made for a fun morning. So we are going to cut this end off and reproduce it. Uh, there's a chunk of, I think it's in camera shot. This is a chunk of inch and three quarter mystery metal that I got out of the scrapyard some time ago. We're going to reinforce it a little bit more so there's less likely this is going to fail in the same orientation again so you can see there's a welded edge here so this this piece extends up into the steel tube about three quarters of an inch and then is welded in uh, you can see the fracture here um, it was a fairly thin section of material so what we're going to end up doing is putting this in the chop saw cutting it off here. Uh, I can pull the piece out that's still inside. Uh, I'll make a new one of these in the lathe and then we will uh, bevel this edge, put it back in here and uh, give it a good lap of weld around there and we should be good as new. Let's head to the chop saw. All right, before we go into the lathe, I just want to go over kind of how I do my design process on the fly, typically. My welding table's got a nice aluminum top, so it makes a really nice sketching area. So basically, set of dial calipers, just start taking some of the major critical dimensions, laying them out. The one thing I do want to caution you on is sketching. Sketching is not to scale. Um, it looks like a decent representation. Um, so this is the original part. You can see it's got a, a hole all the way through and this is the piece that I just chopped off. So here's the broken bit. Goes through the scent. You know, there's a, a clear hole all the way through and then a hole all the way through here. So you can see I've got a, the original part has a hole all the way through. Well the one I'm going to build is going to be out of solid. You saw this, let me cut that off already. And it's going to be solid so it's not going to have that weak transition. So it actually broke the original one broke right here at this spot, which is a narrow, narrow area. So now you can see that I've got solid material all the way through here. Um, nice sketching is a good way to make sure that you're doing things right, looking things over, um, gives you a good review. But again, sketching is just that, not to scale as I said. So what I did, and I don't always do this, and I'm trying to get more in the habit of it, uh, I went in sketch this thing up real quick on Fusion 360 and just did a nice drawing real quick. So I've got dimensions on everything. Everything looks and it gives you a good flush. You know, you can flush everything out and see how everything looks. Um, you can see that it's a solid piece all the way through. I don't have that narrow transition here anymore. And if you notice my sketch, I showed the, um, the cutout 
the relief where that little roll pin in going all the way up into the cut down area here which is what retains the handle inside the jack where in reality I don't have to go in that deep so again just think of you know gives you a good this is close enough for what I was doing because I was going to go off the measurements anyways not off of my my sketch the drawing gives me a good kind of a one last catch before I start turning metal into chips and screwing something up and now we're off to the lathe One two ninety five, and I'm looking for one two ninety. All right, one two ninety, just what we're looking for. So now we're going to work on this groove here, which has got to go down to 1050. Alright, it's 113 in, and it's 46 wide. Voila, that's done. Now, we're just going to make a shoulder. So that's done, this is done, this is done. Now we've got to do these two shoulders. So, I'm going to go in with this tool actually and plunge in and start coming this way this is going to fit inside the tube and is going to be welded on there so what I'm going to do is, is while I got it now I take that back I'm not going to even do this right now I'm just going to save this if I, if I were really worried about concentricity I would machine this right now because the parts being held in by a three jaw that has some run out and that way it would all be on the same centers but again this is not a a critical part by any means so what I'm going to end up doing is um, I will drill and bore my hole we'll cut the thing off and then I'll come back through flip it over and I'll do this one um, flipped around so it'll be easier Oh, that'll go in. It's going to take a little bit of a tap on the hammer, but that's nice and tight. That's going in. So, 
Beautiful. All right, so off camera, I drilled the hole for the roll pin and installed the roll pin. Now, like I think I said earlier, I'm going to attack this with a TIG welder. I've got MIG, but I like some practice on this because I don't do TIG enough. And also, this is a solid piece of steel versus right now this is only about 70 thousandths thick tube. With a TIG, I'm hoping I can direct the heat a little bit more into the solid piece. Also, I took a map gas torch and heated this up. This is probably about 150 degrees right now just to give a little preheat. Let's see what damage we can do. My first attempt at tubing or pipe or anything round like that, it's not that atrocious. Again, this is not a real high stress weld, um, so I don't think I got a problem. All right, one more project done in the workshop. One jack handle. Got to blast a little black paint on it so it doesn't rust, but this thing's ready to rock and roll. I, I think this thing's about 3 eighths of an inch shorter now, so next time I pick up the 7,000 pound pickup truck, I'll probably have to work a little bit harder, but it's good shape. It's a good project to get done, and got to use some tools that I don't use every day. So, thanks again for coming to the workshop with me. If you would, please subscribe. Uh, you'll get notified every time I put a video out. Uh, like. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, that'd be great. And we'll see you again next time in the workshop.